Nemo versus Dogara. <laughs> like, with no breaks here whatsoever. I mean, these are two legends, titans of the fighting game community here. I mean, they've been at the, the SBO Togeki since, you know, 94, before I was even in Man. the fighting game, before I knew what a fighting game was. These guys have been playing at the highest level. And again, across many a game here, they've brought their talents to Street Fighter V once again. And I mean, these are no strangers to high-level performances in this game. We're going to see only one move on out of these titans here. And I mean, it's going to be interesting. I'm a fan of whoever does move on. I like both of these players a lot. And we'll see what they bring to the table. And let's kind of break it down as well. Um, we talked about the notable players that did not make it into top 16. You could blame Nemo for one of them. He double jeopardied Fudo, actually. Ooh. He sent Fudo into losers the first time, 2-1. to one beat him again two to zero and Fudo was in the first qualifier for Japan he also came in from the loser's side so that's really a really tough string of bad luck so far in these two qualifiers but Nemo making it pretty far with that Yuri and we don't know if he's going to be pulling out the gill or not but we'll leave that in in fate's hands later yeah. Dogura uh in his matchups so far mm, he actually took down Nauman okay. two to zero eliminated Nauman Itabashi Zangief, 2-0, wow. to zero, and then took down Ryusei Zurian as well. Ooh, so that's a little okay. signifier, right? Taking down Ryusei, who is also a, a famed Yurian player, one of the new school players. Um, that's going to be a pretty big uh, big signifier of what the matchup is going to be like for Dogura, just having that under his belt. Um, Nemo, there was uh, like a handful of other players that he's, he's gone through. But either way, we're going to see how that transpires. But not before we get into the quotes, of course. Top 16, Nemo versus Dogura. Let's see what they have to say about each other, or at least... The matchup at hand. Nemo says, I'm happy to be back in top 16. I'm going to try my best to win. A little tame from Nemo there. Okay. You know, we've, we've heard him talk some smack before and shake some hands. But today he's <laughs> being, you know, very polite. I like it. A lot of respect being shown. What does his opponent have to say? Dogra. Um, Dogra is always a colorful character. I will do what I trained for. Also keeping it nice, simple to the point. A lot of respect between both of these players. My man's picture is so sick, though. He Dogra. got a haircut. Dogra has always been one of my favorite players, man. He just brings some style to the game, you know? I, I love his style, like, in, in general. Like, the way yeah. he plays, the way he carries himself. Yes, exactly. In general. Yeah. And he's a real funny guy. Just he overall. is, He's a real funny dude. guy. I love He's him. down to clown, for sure. He's down to clown around, and it's so great. Uh, yeah, I mean, you took the words right out of my mouth because I was going to call him a clown. Like, that's <laughs> what I was going to call him, like, in the best way possible. Yes. Like, he is uh, such an entertaining player, always very, like, lighthearted and just, like, in general brings the energy up whenever he's yeah. in the room. So big ups to Dogra always holding it down. And we are going to get to see the gill come out yes. from Nemo, which is a beautiful thing. I know a lot of people are going to want to see that. And, of course, the bison coming from Dogra. And we've, uh, we've given a lot of uh, slack towards Gil in general and, and where he's currently at in the, the roster of Street Fighter V. A little bit of lackluster play coming in from him. But there's something about Nemo being so creative in various fighting games that I feel like he's the only one to really make Gil shine the way that he does. Granted, there have been some guild players in the CPT, and I will say they've done an impressive job, <laughs> but there's just something about Nemo, and we're seeing it right now. Nemo definitely got one of those fighting game minds that's constructed uniquely, right? He is definitely one that makes certain things work that other players just don't. They can try. They just can't figure out the puzzle like Nemo can, and Gil's another one of those uh, situations. Right now, going to pop the V-trigger. I mean, this could spell the end. Oh, just set him up to think he had a block and got the throw. And it's going to be tough. Yeah, the freeze on the stun gauge is actually going to be a, a pretty big problem. Unless, you know, you go in for an EX stomp. I like that. Activation, make it safe, of course. Checking with the medium punch. That's an excellent time to view reversal. Creates so much space for yourself, especially oh, if it hits. No. It's a mishap. <gasps> what? My man Dogra using the flames to dissipate the ice ball, and it caught Nemo dashing in. Oh, my goodness, Nemo just buries the Psycho Crusher. Mm -mm, you All ain't crushing nothing. In. You ain't crushing nothing. I will show you who was the better boss <laughs> in the Street Fighter series. That was ridiculous. Bison's been a boss in how many games? Still couldn't stop the World Warriors? Mm. Come on now. How many series? This boy Gil is just, you know, one of those. It's and different. It, yeah, and he tried to get the parry going on right there, but this time instead, though, we're a little bit more wary of it. Tried to get his own parry going. Eh -eh. 
Oh, that, that would have been a huge trade off for now, Nemo. Oh, you thought you can go in? Okay. Dover now getting the back throw. <gasps> no, firing away is Nemo with the back throw of his own. Oh, Dover was just within range. Man's normal got chucked right there. Oh, I like that. Oh, what? it's still not your turn. That's definitely some unfamiliarity from Dogra right there. Just thought he could press. Uh -uh. He has taught you this round, man. These situations that you think you could take your turn in are not so. My man is adamantly clapping towards Gil. It's like, please don't notice me. <laughs> it's like he, was just, he was looking like, yeah, yeah, he did that. That was sick. He, that businessman was like, I know a fellow businessman when I see it. He's like, he knew Nemo was navigating. He knew Nemo was piloting. He's like, yeah, that was great. I'm a big that was fan sick. of your work. Nice work. Big fan. Nemo taking it down two rounds in game number one. Yeah, but again, uh, this is a loser's bracket action, man. So whoever goes down here, their tournament life is over. They got to wait for Japan 3 as a qualifier. Me keeping him locked down, and he got caught reaching on the second time, but Meaty mistimed. He's getting Batista oh, bombed into my. the corner, and another shimmy teaching another lesson. The retribution. This is such a sick setup, but no EX stomp. So smart from Dogoro. You talked about kind of the unfamiliarity in certain situations. That one, uh, yeah. very familiar with. Great escape, honestly. Again, stopping the rush down, coming in from Nemo, following after the cryokinesis. Oh, and they're just getting them low right there. Yes, crank that. Ooh, that would have been so sick. What a smart defensive play from Nemo, though. He had a V-shift going all the way through the V-break to bypass all of the flames. And now my man's got to try to find a way to bypass these gill flames. Cryo to pyro, pyro to cryo. Oh, Again! no! Richard, he, you're dead! He already told you. He already taught that lesson. You weren't there. You didn't go to school that day. You better get somebody else's homework, fam. You're not even going to make it to the next grade <laughs> at, that, at that pace. This loser's bracket, son. Oh. You missed the time for summer school. Mm -hmm. That's going to be looking like a good old dropout here in a second. Not like this. <laughs> hey, some of the best things come out from dropouts, you know? It do be. Oh. Oh no, so much reaching. Dogra doing the one that's, or doing the teaching, I should say now. That was definitely the, the college dropout album right there for, <laughs> for Dogra. I like that. Getting himself on the board, yes. What a great response, too. No matter what the fireball was going to be, using EX head stop to close the gap and punish was absolutely the choice because now he gets to dictate the pace. No pun intended. Getting yeah. himself into, yes, in prime position now to lock down Nemo. Yeah. Yeah, this is a very good adjustment here from Dogra, utilizing that V-Skill heavy. Oh, and then the confirm off the crotch. Medium kick. Mm -hmm. Nemo, of course, yeah, he has that V-Trigger activation. Just needs a way in at this point. We've seen the setups. Ooh. Oh, no, to the jaw. It doesn't matter how tall you are. This man's knees is going to make you buckle. And right now, oh, the EX from long distance. Doing his best Trey Young impression right there. Bison. Dogra, both of them tying it up one to one just like that. Now he's staying in school. I like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Teaching the kids a good lesson. No dropping out here. He went from being like the student to the teacher in like an entire round. That was very impressive, right? Making sure that Nemo uh, gets one. punished in full force in some of the mistakes that he's been making. Like he's been literally throwing out these fireballs and thinking he wasn't going to get away with it, right? Dogra now utilizing that V-Skill 1, utilizing his meter to get these punishes going, and forcing these arrows from Nemo. That Larry is definitely unsafe. Yeah, exactly. And you can see Nemo, he's uh, trying to take a little bit more risk now and trying to find some type of way to change the pace up, and that's why Dogra is able to get these advantages. Mm. Nice job, though. Go with the tick throw. He's able to establish a life lead here, and yeah, trying to work that fireball game a little bit more. Very safe option to try to combat that EX. Just the raw layer. Actually, from that range, would have been just fine, actually. Yeah, and then we're trying to be precise with the spacing on these lariats. V reversal as well here. You see, he's really trying to prioritize this neutral control. It's just like that, though. Dogra Ooh, takes the lively, yes. takes the corner. That was absolutely huge. Getting that confirm into the cycle crusher was so much in terms of momentum. The slight walk oh. of getting the counter hit is going to be a gang of damage. But more importantly, it's going to set up the mix. Oh, yeah. Just going to stay in front for now. Try to get the plus frames going afterwards, but Dogura learned the first time. And what a frame kill. You saw he was tempting Dogura with that Larry. It's a press a button, I dare you. But here comes 
Nemo, one more touch away. Dolgara chopping down to the big man. Oh, Does so successfully. Goodness. How did that reach? I can't believe he actually found the crush counter that he was looking for. We saw Dolgara actually press on that stand heavy kick afterwards, or excuse me, before that. But afterwards, he just gets clipped before he can even challenge. Did that come? That came from a psycho axe, right? That was heavy punch first. Yeah. Psycho axe was the second choice. Yeah. And a slight no. I don't even know if that was a delay because there is significant startup. Yeah. Either way, Dolgara finally found the hit that he was looking for. Finally got Nemo to crack. And right now in the driver's seat. Oh no, actually just uh, choosing to immediately release the parry instead of holding on to it like he had been doing. Oh yeah, not trying to catch him. Oh, oh, that was such a sick answer to the knees. He tried that the last time, right? Nemo navigated past the body of Nemo, or sorry, of Dogura. This time in the corner, not gonna be the same. And now getting the back throw as well, cutting off that screen. Great position for Dogura here. Oh no, it's still there! <laughs> Oh, surprise, man. surprise snowball, come on, man. Jumping like Dante Marin, the, the <laughs> cons of having hops. <laughs> you just hit your head on the backboard? <laughs> yeah, like that's what happens. <laughs> oh. oh, sliding into the DMs. He'll find his way in, whether it be on the air or on the ground. Oh, oh I love that. Parry. Oh, 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 no. He doesn't have a cross up unless it's a light. He's got four. Oh, he was still in too much box stun. Oh, still plus. What? You're oh, gonna end up the. Oh, no. He's putting his life entirely on the line here. Oh, actually gets out and touches the toes one more time. We're going to a final round. That was so. It was so tough to call. I still can't believe Neville got away with that last jump, but we saw the angle he was coming at, right? There's only, like, he only has one crossover, and it's a jump short. They confirmed to start this off from Dogra already in the corner. Ooh, my man's is reaching. Oh my god, if he gets clipped by that background house, it'll be so sick. Oh boy. Yeah. Quick punish from Dogura coming out. Oh, and then swiping, confirming again. Yes, sir. Gonna put him on the verge of stun here. And what a challenge from Nemo right there. Just going with a reversal crouch medium kick, delay rise. Oh, oh. the overhead is frozen. He gets to do it again. He gets to do it again. Oh, he's gonna freeze him here instead. So yeah, another mix-up gonna be presented after this. Oh, just pops him up. V shift. Oh I don't want to deal God. with that. This ain't no versus series, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you no. Timing, you're dead. Oh, you're my. actually dead. What a way to go out. Oh, Dogra had been doing that so consistently, parrying the cryokinesis, keeping it stored for later usage. And the one time he misses it is the time that costs him the set. Heartbreaking we from know. Dogra. He's had some heartbreaking losses if you followed his fighting game career, and that's another one on the list, unfortunately. Nemo going to be moving on. Yeah, that, that was You rough. are not wrong. That, that is rough. that is classic, classic Dogra. Yeah, yeah, Damn, yeah. don't put him down like that. <laughs> I mean, the man, like, it's not like his fault. It's just, you know what I mean? Like, the losses just, uh, they're yeah. heartbreaking not only for him, but for the viewers, man. I mean, like we said before, he's a fan favorite, and just uh, some of the ways mm. it goes down is just, it's hard.